In case you hadn't noticed, women are wearing their gym gear everywhere. To the shops, school pickup, even out to lunch. And it's all thanks to one woman, Lorna Jane. She's single-handedly turned daggy leotards into what she calls active wear. It's the old look good, feel good concept. And Lorna Jane is looking and feeling very good. She's built an active wear empire along with her husband, Bill the Butcher. And they've just knocked back half a billion dollars for their business. This will be burning your little bottoms off. Three, two, and one. Oh, shoulders back. If you're a bloke, chances are you've never heard of Lorna Jane, the person or the brand. But it's a different matter for women. Let's work those out. Let's move our bodies, everyone. And these days, when Lorna Jane Clarkson steps out in public, she's treated like a celebrity. Because we truly believe that when you present your best life, one that's fit, healthy and positive to the world, you can do anything. She's a fashion and fitness guru with a besotted legion of followers. My grandmother said to me, when I was like, seriously, don't, don't judge me on this, OK? <laughs> I think I was about four. Something like that. She said, Lorna, Lorna Jane, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I said, I want to be rich and famous. <laughs> Back arm straight, 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 yes. At 50, Lorna Jane is rich and famous. And it's her fault you see women wearing their active wear, what I've always called gym gear, everywhere. I want to ask you when it is OK to wear active wear. OK. <laughs> Grocery shopping? Yes. School pickup? Yes. Lunch with friends? Yes. Dinner with friends? Yes. Perhaps it's more appropriate to ask when you shouldn't wear it. When you shouldn't wear it? Um, to a wedding or a funeral. And that's it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Lorna grew up in Brisbane but moved to Cairns when she was 20 to work as a dental therapist. Unremarkable enough, except it gave her plenty of time to exercise. I was teaching aerobic classes and I was just sick of the active wear that was available. So I just started making my own. I just cut up a swimsuit on my dining room table and made some active wear. And it was really just for myself. And then when I went and taught my classes and women were saying, wow, can I have one of those too? Her first employee was Karen Helmick. How are you? <laughs> who's still with Lorna today. We're walking through and we're looking at all, all these young gym bunnies <laughs> and their jeans and strings. And we're what are we doing here? And all of a sudden, this little blonde girl comes bouncing through and goes, Hello, I'm Lorna Jane. Can I help you? I, I was said, trying to sell a leotard, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look like in jeans? Oh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> My husband might think I don't. Know. <laughs> that was 26 years ago. And since then, Lorna's simple idea has grown into a massive international empire. How many stores do you have worldwide? 165, I think. You know, I can never keep up. And every time I quote something, someone says, you got it wrong by two or three. <laughs> so I think it's 165 right now. While Lorna is happily the extrovert face of the company, the ideas woman, it's her husband Bill, the quiet CEO, who keeps the business booming. He too has been there from the start. Bill and I were a bit slow in the romance department and I, j I actually remember the first kiss because I went like this and I think he got me in the ear or something. <laughs> It'll peck in the ear. Um, That's the least romantic story I've ever heard. I know, but we're really, um, we were really shy. How do you remember the story, Bill, of the first kiss? I don't remember it uh, as Lorna explained it, but uh, <laughs> I, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm giving myself a rap. <laughs> <laughs>
There wouldn't be a Lorna Jane without Bill, who gave up being a butcher to go into women's fashion with his wife. Strange as it seems, Bill says selling meat and women's tights is not that different. I always say butchers are the best retailers on the planet because, you know, they sell in season. They know what their customer wants. They know the customer by name. The local butcher, a very trustworthy, sturdy character. I mean, is that... A bit, a bit shady. Oh, butchers aren't shady. <laughs> the milkman's shady. <laughs> I wanted to get everyone together and I thought... Lorna and Bill have built their company on the old-fashioned principle, never spend money you don't have. We will put that little ding in the universe. We all in? Yeah. And always being debt free has worked. Last year, they rejected an offer of half a billion dollars to sell their business. They do live in a $10 million mansion on the Brisbane River, but there are a few other signs of excess. So, we've just got Adelaide. It's been a dream run for Lorna, until a few months ago, when the company advertised for a fit model slash receptionist. Does that feel supportive, Addie? Yeah. The ad called for a woman sized 8 to 10 to test the clothing and answer the phones. Thank you for calling Lorna Jane. This is Addie speaking. 22-year-old Addie Pollock got the controversial job. So you're what all the fuss is about. <laughs> That's apparently me. <laughs> yes. Critics claimed it was an affront to women of other shapes and sizes. The ad for the receptionist fit model. Oh, yes. <laughs> was that a brain explosion on your behalf? Well, um, in hindsight, would I wish it, we'd written it differently? Absolutely. I just think it was, we're an active wear company, they misconstrued the word fit for being physically fit and not actually a fitting model. Um, so people took fit to mean skinny? Yeah, I think so. And fit doesn't mean skinny. So it's all November week two. There was not one day that went by that I didn't have some kind of um, bullying happening. Just as the fit model saga was fading, Lorna made headlines again when a disgruntled former employee claimed she'd been bullied into losing weight. Amy Robinson says that she was bullied because of her weight and she's now suing you for half a million dollars. Does she have a case? No, it's not true. And the truth will come through. Is there a culture of bullying at Lorna Jane? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And, you know, if there was, I would put a stop to it. I would do the right thing. So why do you think you were targeted? I don't know. When you build a brain that is so much about you and who you are as a person, it hurts. Should you be tougher than that? I should be tougher than that, but this is who I am. I'm human. And when they criticise the brand, they're criticising you. Yeah, they are. You are Lorna Jane. Yeah. I hope I'll get a thicker skin because of it, but right now, no, it doesn't feel like that at all. Mm. I feel, um... Vulnerable, I guess. Bill will kill me for getting upset. <laughs> because I'm not normally like this, you know. I'm, I'm so positive and I think that this is not me. But right now, um, with the things the press, is, that press is saying about me and my brand, this is how I feel. But hopefully next week, I'll be back to normal. This is Lorna's normal. And clearly, living a wholesome, healthy life works for her. Can I look in your fridge? Of course you can. <laughs> Nothing to hide here. <laughs> Tell a lot about a person bored by what's in their fridge. Are you kidding me? So what does this say about me? Yeah. Obsessive compulsive? <laughs> I've seen so many labels in my life. Perhaps an ordered fridge is the key to an ordered business. So this is protein, and this is what you put with the protein. You're really proud of this fridge, aren't you? I am proud of it. 
But certainly there's something to be said for green energy, because Lorna Jane is non-stop. I can do this! <laughs> and keeping up with her takes some doing. <laughs> she told me she was not competitive. It's all about being the best you can. Yeah. <laughs> and then you started with, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> Pay no attention to what she says. Lorna likes to win. <laughs> In business and at the gym. How you going? Oh. <laughs> but she also wants all women to be much healthier. So go out and do it! Australia is one of the fattest countries in the world. I know. How did that happen? How did that happen? Do we know? I don't know how it happened. I just know what the stats are. Two in three Australians are overweight or obese. Over 50% of Australians don't do any formal exercise, and I think that's just crazy. But do you think people look at you and go, look, she's just a skinny, rich woman. Who's she to tell us what to do? I'm sure there are some people that do think that, but it's not the truth. What do you think of fat people? I don't really think anything about fat people and I don't put people in that category of oh, you're a fat person at all. Mm. Um, but, but you clearly have a view because you want to do something about it. Yeah, but I don't think of them as a person that's fat. I just think it's not OK that we're getting fatter and fatter as a nation, not because of how we look or what dress size we are, but because we're dying. <laughs> and they're all wearing more. In my time with Lorna, I did notice one thing was missing in this company, which could double its value instantly. Good ladies, keep up your form. Would you ever think about doing men's active wear? Not at all. Um, Never? No. You know, I like it when Bill wears his old footy shorts and his old triathlon t-shirt and you can almost see through it because the sweat's like eating the fabric away. And to me, that's cool. For men to work out like that. It's that's different... double standards. It is double standards, but that's how I feel. I think women should look fashionable. So you don't think Bill would look good in tights? No. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I, and, and I, I, I have a view that um, no one's going to buy active wear called Billy Jane. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, Very few couples could do what Lorna and Bill have done live and work together happily. Today, it's their 21st wedding anniversary and there's a healthy food, non-alcoholic celebration with their family and closest friends. But there's only time for a small party because there's that very big business to run. Do something! <laughs> I can't imagine my life without him and I, you know, I hope you feel the same way and... Um, Let's hope there's another 21 more years in front of us. How old would I be then? Oh, gosh, don't think about it. 71. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs>